Good morning from beautiful Canmore, Alberta. So today we're going to go to Pato Lake, which is about an hour and a half away from um, Canmore. Then we're going to go to Bow Lake, which is about five minutes away from Pato Lake. And then we're going to end our day on the, hopefully get on the um, gondola ride at Lake Louise. So we've been driving for about an hour and then I decided to check on Google to see if I can find out any information on Pato Lake. Um, and lo and behold, I just happened to see a thread that said Pato Lake is closed due to construction. Um, we just passed one of the uh, workers in the National Park and he said, yeah, that Pato Lake is closed for construction, but Bow Lake is still open. And he said there's other lakes and glaciers and stuff around. So we're just going to drive to Bow Lake and then see what else is around. So we made it to Bow Lake. This is the view from the parking lot. Can you imagine once we get in? I just can't get over how many blue green lakes there are in Canmore and Banff. They are just beautiful. I'm gonna have to research why their lakes are so blue. I know it has something to do with the glaciers from the mountains, but in any case, I'm gonna turn the camera around and you can get a look at Bow Lake. Okay, first of all, I love nature, but I never thought I would enjoy it so much. I mean, we travel around the world, a lot of places, but I could always come back to nature on a daily basis. Yeah. Summer of um, 2020, you know, we didn't think we'd be traveling anywhere, but we decided to, you know, discover the west coast of Canada and we are not regretting it. It's just, it's beautiful. So when you're approaching Banff National Park, there's going to be um, like an entrance area. And if you pay, and the parking pass is $20, and it will last you for the next day until 4 p.m. So pretty good, almost two days. So we're gonna do as many parks as we can today, and then tomorrow we'll do a few more parks, and then our parking pass will expire at 4 p.m. But that's a pretty good deal. All right, rock contest time. <laughs> Good try, Keenan. Patrick saw a loon in the water and he saw it pop up and then it popped his head back down. And we've been waiting to see this loon pop his head back up and it's been how long now, P? At least four minutes. Yeah, and we haven't seen him. So I have no idea how long a loon can hold their breath, but it's pretty cool. That's the only wildlife we have seen since we've Watch been here. here guys. And there's signs saying, you know, beware of bears and there might be elk and moose. Kenan, watch your step, please. Um, but all we've seen is a loon. I don't mind seeing a moose or an elk. I don't want to see a bear. Oh, lots of bugs. Oh, whoops. You okay? Yeah. You're in the shade. Oh. You won't come in the sun. Okay, so we're going to head back to the car. We had a wonderful trail walk in Bow Lake. Keenan had a fantastic time skipping rocks. And on the way to Lake Louise, we saw a few stops along the way. I think one's called Glacier Lake, and um, I think there's another stop. So uh, I think we're going to make two pit stops before we get to the Lake Louise gondola. <laughs> So we just left Bow Lake and we're now at Crowfoot Glacier. So the um, pamphlet that I read said that this was named Crowfoot Glacier a hundred years ago and it looked like a three-toed crow's foot. But since then, one toe has melted and the middle toe is disappearing. So this crow's foot is going to have one toe in a few years. And as we say in Jamaica, any crow that lost its foot is a drunk crow. <laughs> 
if you were to fall down here, I don't even know what to say. It's so deep down there, it's scary. I think I'll stay right here. Enjoy the view from here. So on the drive back to Lake Louise, we saw a sign for Herbert Lake, and I do have a pamphlet here. It says, it's a photographer's favorite. Um, the still waters provide a perfect panoramic reflection of the stunning main range peaks, and um, including Mount Temple. And people are here, and um, I see people in their bathing suits, so I guess they're swimming in the lake. I see pic people um, with their picnic, ba picnic baskets, so... Uh, it seems so serene here, so quiet, and the trees look awesome. So we're just going to spend a few minutes kind of um, checking out, where are we again? Herbert Lake. There's also, there's, there's also some blue dragonflies, so I think this is a dragonflies place. Okay, awesome. Okay, so we finished our walk at Herbert Lake. It was very nice and serene. We hardly saw anyone else around. We're gonna head back to the car and head towards Lake Louise. So we're here at Lake Louise Ski Lift, which is about mm, a 10 minute drive away from the actual lake. All right, so sightseeing gondola is $40 for adults and $18.95 for kids. I want to see a beer. Okay, so we're going to get ready to ride the gondola, and there's supposed to be some female grizzly bears in the area. So hopefully we'll see some when we're way up in the gondola, and they'll be on the ground. That's the only way that I want to see a grizzly bear. <laughs> okay, Kanan, fingers crossed that we see some grizzly bears. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a great way to end the day. I would yeah. recommend it at the end of your day. Yeah, I agree. I agree. We went on, what, like three kind of hiking trails. Easy hiking trails, but still got us tired enough to want to just end the day with something as relaxing as a gondola ride. So, unfortunately, we didn't see any bears, but... Um, we are going to go to the viewing deck where we apparently we can see beautiful views of Lake Louise from there. How cute are you? What is that, P? It's a prairie dog. A prairie dog. <laughs> Okay, so we can't really see Lake Louise. It's way over there. It's a tiny spot. You have to have the eye of a tiger. <laughs> what is this? All right, so we're gonna take the gondola ride back down and we're gonna call it a day. So we decided to take the ski lift down instead of the gondola. Keenan's idea. He's it's a brave a, guy. It's a little scary, but it's smooth. So, what, 15 minutes on a ski lift? This high up? Uh, I'm a little scared. Cause look guys. Okay. 
All right, so I think that we're gonna end the day here. We had a fantastic day in Banff and the ski lift is much more exciting than the gondola, right Keenan? Yeah! Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you like, subscribe, and click on the notification button so you can continue following us on our travels. Until next time, take care.